dark in here. Let me open the windows. Is that better? Don't look over here. It actually doesn't look that bad, but in real life, it's horrible. Oh my heck, I have so much to do today. It's Friday, so I'm gonna do some brownie Friday. I'm clearly getting ready for the day right now. Throwing on my native, hashtag non-spawns. I'm looking around this bathroom. It clearly needs my attention right now. I have a hammer. What? Don't ask me questions. My mirror is disgusting. I need to throw some dinner in the crock pot today. I also need to really start Christmas shopping. Have you guys done Christmas shopping? Did you go Black Friday shopping? I did not. I didn't shop Cyber Monday. I didn't shop Black Friday. I didn't, I heard it was, I mean, listen, Black Friday is not the same as it once was where the people would trample over each other for good reason. 80% off, excuse me. I'd throw a punch or two too. One time Alex and I sat outside of Best Buy. I don't even know if we were buying a camera or something ridiculous. The whole Thanksgiving, what a waste. People don't do that anymore. Also for good reason. But I digress, I need to do some Christmas shopping. This toothpaste, it's so spicy. The baby's napping. All right, it's been a little while. I forgot where I was. Christmas gifts, clearly I need to do that. Avelina downloaded an app and she had, okay, I had to download it too. I forgot what it's called, but it's a place where she can, okay, go wish. She can add all kinds of lists. I guess it's kind of like Pinterest in a way, but you can share it with people. And I guess it's more like a registry. I'm trying to brush my hair. It's hard because I don't own a brush, so I normally just do this. So that's where I'm going to start. I was on Shutterfly this morning. Oh, we got our Christmas cards in. Should I show you? We got our family photos back too. I don't think I showed you any of that. Is anyone else still having postpartum hair loss? A year postpartum? No, just me. My hair's still kind of wet from the shower I took. And uh, I had one hairdresser tell me, oh, be careful because your hair will mold. Oh, I'm sorry, what? My hair will mold? She said that specifically because I told her, oh, I braid my hair when it's wet. She's like, be careful, your hair will mold. I was like, I've been doing it for a long time, so. I think I'm okay. So I am feeling a little productive. I cleaned the kitchen this morning. I got some laundry done. I made a Shutterfly book and a Shutterfly calendar, a couple Christmas gifts for some family members. Now I have to focus my attention to my kiddos. I feel like some of them are so easy to buy for and some of them are not. I have no idea what I'm gonna get Wentworth. I think when he comes home today, I'm just gonna give him like the toy catalog that I got from Amazon and Target and just let him circle things. I feel like there's so many people to buy for. And I actually, what I do every year is I, we use our credit card rewards points to put toward gifts. So I did that the other day because it takes them like two weeks to ship them out. And I bought so many gift cards for everyone. I got teacher gift cards. I wanna get stuff to put together, more teacher gifts. I know some of you are like, why didn't you get, because I love their teachers and they deserve it too. Wouldn't you enjoy it if someone just came to your work and gave you a gift? But I feel like I got all the nieces and nephews covered except for a couple of them because they're younger. So I feel like they would rather have something tangible like a toy. Also some stocking stuffers I got as gifts. So I'm feeling like, I got the situation somewhat under control, which is really nice because sometimes, I, last year specifically, I felt like it was December 24th and I had no idea who was getting what, you know? Is that an eyelash? You're supposed to make a wish. I wish inflation would go away. Also, do you do cap exercises when you're brushing your teeth and putting on your makeup? Gotta get your 30 minutes of exercise in a day, you know? That or Kegels. A little mascara, you know, I bought the um, the Tarte set of mascaras. It was like $25 for three full size. Like how can I say no to that? It was at Ulta. This is Man Eater or something like that. I also have flashing camera lights or something. This is my all time fave. The lighting in here is absolutely horrendous, but it is Tarte Lit. I don't even know, I can't remember. Tarte Lit Tubing Mascara. That eyebrow, what has gotten into me? What's done is done. Let's focus on this side, but I'll show you. It's incredible. I've been using it for a while and I feel like I don't even really focus on mascara anymore. Just a couple layers and I'm like, good enough. Oh, got it all over. Okay, before and after situation. <laughs> it's kind of pricey, but I get it on sale. I never buy it full price. I think last time it was like buy one, get one 
free or half off. All right, I've been tap, tap, tapping away at the computer over here. Ooh. I wrote down the recipe I'm gonna throw in my crock pot and I'm looking for a brownie recipe. I, you know, I've made so many, it's hard, you know, it's hard to find new ones constantly. How do I know if I'm gonna like it, if it's gonna taste good, whatever. So I think I'm going to, by the way, I'm on Elise Ellis's Instagram, just like sifting through, seeing if I can find something. I did find a brownie recipe here, a couple of them. She talks very highly about her T Texas sheet cake. It's like a protein, like brown chocolate cake. I don't really know what it is, but maybe I'll make that instead. And then she also has pumpkin brownies on here, which probably don't taste like pumpkin. Pumpkin to me is very mild in flavor. It just adds a little health benefit when you're making something. So I might make those. I don't really know if you're going to eat a brownie, like eat a brownie. That's my logic. But also I've been eating a lot of sugar lately. So it might be nice to step back just a smidge, so I'm gonna write that recipe down. I'm also a hog and a half, and while I was editing the Shutterfly book earlier this morning, these jalapeno lime chips, someone tear these away from me. It's just crumbs left now. By the way, I'm on her Instagram, and it is December, if you were unaware. Her new monthly meals came out and I'm just looking through the pictures of them and instantly I'm inspired. I'm like, those look so great. All the, half the work is done for you in the recipes. You just like have to buy the ingredients and make it. And usually they're very easy. So I, I love getting inspiration this way. So I'm gonna check my subscription. What the heck is that? Slow cooker creamy chicken lasagna soup. I'm gonna check my subscription, print some out maybe make a meal plan probably later today i'll do that or tomorrow oh my gosh i'm so hungry mouth watering and eat sweet potatoes loaded scallop potatoes bacon balsamic brussels sprouts protein brownie pie that's the dessert for december holy cow <laughs> i do have a code if you're wanting to do the subscription it's 10 percent off of your first order and i pay it's like ten dollars a month because i pay for three months at a time and all this, I mean, I make the grocery list in the app. So when I'm at the grocery store, I can just like take it off. It doesn't get much easier than that. All right, I'm gathering all of my supplies to throw. I'm, I'm eating. I'm like constantly shoving food in my face, but never sitting down to like eat a whole meal. I feel like I graze all day, but not purposefully. And then I'm like, what did I eat today? Just a bunch of junk. I don't know. I need to get better about it. Dinner is always good because I make dinner every night for everyone and we sit down and we eat it and I probably eat way too much of that too. Anyway, I'm wondering if the chicken will fit in this crock pot. I took out two bags of chicken. I feel like it should fit. I don't know. It's just chicken. It's not like I'm adding a ton of vegetables to it, but I'm going to make slow cooker Hawaiian shredded chicken. I don't know. I made up the name. I, it's like a meld between a couple of different recipes. Apparently, 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 apparently. If you're cooking pork in the crock pot and shredding it, it's called pulled pork. But if it's chicken, it's shredded. Very important distinction there. Also, I don't know. I feel like the easy way around this is just get chicken and then barbecue sauce poured in, maybe some pineapple juice, crushed pineapple, diced pineapple, whatever your flavor. Um, I'm gonna be a little more complicated this time around and just dump, 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 and it's gonna taste delicious. I'm kind of following the recipe, but also not because that's how I live my life. All right, let me grab the chicken and then I'll get it started. In here. So this is what I'm working with, just a little bit of brown sugar, ketchup, soy sauce, I always do cocoa aminos. I'm adding the seasoning, so I, you can leave them out. Onion powder, chili powder, smoked paprika. I think it's gonna give it more of that barbecue-y flavor, but the actual recipe calls for ginger. Oh, I have to grab some garlic. I have these cloves here. I'll just cut them up if they're not completely dried out by now. And then it calls for diced pineapples, but I don't like chunks of pineapple unless it's like barbecued or fresh. I don't know, from a can it just, something about it, it just doesn't sit well with me. But I do have this pineapple juice that I bought in a set of like six of them. I think they were buy one, get one free. So I have a ton of those because I have a few recipes that call for pineapple juice, especially during the summer months. And what I end up doing is buying pineapple juice. It's like $8 or I don't, in my head, I'm like, this is so expensive for pineapple juice. And then I have to constantly look for recipes or like, 
Alex drinks it really, but it's a lot of sugar for a juice, I guess. But anyway, I found these. It was like a six pack, buy one, get one free. And I was like, that is perfect. So now I have them on hand for whenever I need pineapple juice or something. So that works out really well. I just save them away, store them away. Same, I did the same thing with Dr. Pepper because you guys know my one of my all-time favorite dinners is sweet pulled pork or something like that and it calls for Dr. Pepper which I typically don't buy but I got it buy one get one free in the liters and it's perfect keep them up in my pantry out of sight out of mind until I'm ready to make sweet pulled pork so anyway that's a little tip just always have random stuff on backstock and you'll all, you never go hungry. You'll always have something to eat. It might be random, but you'll have something. And now I'm questioning if this is big enough, but I'll make it work. So for the crock pot meal, I'm just throwing in the chicken thighs. And then I have, what is that? Like six ounces of pineapple juice. Really simple, you can use crushed pineapple. I just like it without the chunks. A quarter cup, <laughs> more or less, of ketchup. I also have a quarter cup of cocoa aminos or soy sauce, a little squirt of ginger, half a cup of chicken broth or water if you don't wanna open a can. I have the better than bouillon. A few tablespoons of brown sugar and then just some seasoning. So I have onion powder, paprika, and chili powder. I think that'll give it that nice like barbecue-y flavor. If, oh, and then garlic, of course, cause I didn't wanna cut mine up. And then if you have like liquid smoke, I feel like that'd be great to add to any dish that you wanna make barbecue. No better time like the present to unveil the literal skeletons in my closet. I like how it's dark. That's how I feel when I go in my closet <laughs> into the abyss. I don't wanna turn a light on cause I don't wanna show you what's inside, but I will show you what's inside. My clo I mean, it's a constant state of despair in there. I try to stay on top of it, but it's nearly impossible. <laughs> I just prioritize literally everything above keeping this place tidy, putting my laundry away. When I do the laundry, I'll put Meredith's away, I'll help Wentworth with his, the girls have theirs, Alex has his, but mine ends up on the floor. Someone coined the phrase floor drobe when I did my closet cleanup video and I was like, that's exactly what it is. The wardrobe on the floor of your closet that I just pick through when I'm getting dressed in the morning. Okay, so I guess without further ado, I'll give you some insight. Oh, I know the screeching noises. It's actually not that bad. I feel like it's not that bad. So here's what had happened was I had all the Thanksgiving stuff like shoved here and then I had Meredith's birthday stuff and this is really like my clean clothes on top of maybe some Christmas gifts down there. I just got shoes. I don't really know. Oh, this was um, sent to me, whatever's in that box. It's like some drink stuff. And then this, I don't really know what's in here. So I guess I'll find out. Oh, shirts I got for Alex for her family photos. So it's time to tackle this. Oh, and this basket fell off of the wall up here. So I'm gonna have to tend to that. And then also the, the straw bales down there. It's just a mess. I saw a picture the other day. Oh, see, I bought this for Thanksgiving. And then I put it on and it just looked absolutely ridiculous. I felt like a, it just, ugh, I don't know. Like, in theory, it looks nice, right? I need to show you what it actually looks like. I can't explain it to you. I keep cutting my head off. Other than I felt like Aunt Joanne or something. And it just, I need to return it. <laughs> I love the color. I like that it's pants. I just felt a certain way and it wasn't the way I wanted to feel. Anyway, let me take, it's probably going to take like 15 minutes to deal with this. That's it. 15, maybe 25. <laughs> Start the timer. I think I was delusional when I said, oh yeah, 15 minutes, even 25 minutes. No, we're double that. Okay. That's how long it took me double. Um, but also you'll see why in a minute, I feel like it could have taken me half the time, but I ran into a little snafu that you'll see in a minute. So I don't, I didn't know, even know where to start. And when I get into situations like this, where it feels like I'm drowning, which is quite often act Actually, I just start with one thing. I pick up one thing at a time and then decide where does this go? Where does this belong? And you guys know my infinite love for uh, thrift store shopping and stuff. And then also the holidays were going on. I said I had a lot of Meredith's uh, birthday party things in here. And then also, oh, it's been so nice. 
Av- um, what's her name? Eleanor had her birthday party last weekend. Wentworth's birthday party is this coming weekend, but it's not as involved as Meredith's was and as they have been in the past. Um, even last year, I think they all had their birthday. Oh, no, no. Eleanor had it elsewhere. But anyway, we're not having it at the house. Either one of theirs, which is so nice. I mean, pros and cons, honestly, because it is really expensive to have it like at a place. So one of them was at a trampoline park and then uh, Wentworth is going to have his at a skating rink, which is really cool. And he's really excited about it. He's been asking for years, but so he is like physically more advanced, I feel like. I don't know if it's just because he's a boy or what, but he's always been in possibly strong and fast. <laughs> Name that movie. And so he's been wanting to have his birthday party at a skating rink for a while. And we've always pushed it off because, you know, in pre-K four and kindergarten, kids can't really skate on their own. I mean, he could, but most, I would say the average student in pre-K four, a four, five-year-old, is needing assistance on the skating rink, you know, which is fine. Like, listen, I'm 36 and I kind of need some assistance on the skating rink. (laughs) So we've been holding him off. He's been wanting it there for years is what I'm trying to get at. And so this is his year. We finally said yes, like first grade. I feel like the kids have the coordination to do it and we wouldn't be having to buy, uh, like it's $5 for this PVC pipe contraption that they put together that kind of helps them around the skating rink. And so that would save us a lot of money if we are not needing to buy a hundred of those for each child. (laughs) Well, not a hundred for each, but one for each child. A hundred people are not coming. I'm being dramatic, but you understand. It adds up really fast. So that's what I'm saying. He's really excited about it, but pros and cons to that, like having it elsewhere, it is expensive. It does add up, especially depending on how many kids are going to show up. But, um, The pro is like, I don't have to clean my house. I don't have to prep all this stuff. I don't have to make sure there's a million things for them to do to keep them busy and all that good stuff and make it. Well, we still have to make a cake. Actually, speaking of making a cake, he might want an ice cream cake. Eleanor wanted an ice cream cake for her birthday party. So where do you go when you need an ice cream cake? Oh, Stone Cold. What's it called? Stone Cold Creamery. Cold Stone. Is that it? (laughs) Something like that. Okay. Clearly, I don't like ice cream. Get off my back. So I went to Cold Stone to, you know, on the hunt for an ice cream cake. I actually, in my head, I was like, oh, Baskin Robin. But it was Baskin Robin, Cold Stone, Publix, the closest one to us at the time. Eleanor and I were shopping around for birthday stuff for her because we still needed like tablecloths. Well, needed, not really, but she wanted to make it special and themed. So I said, okay, I digress. Cold Stone Creamery, go inside. Oh, let's buy a cake, ice cream cake. No big deal. It's got pretty sprinkles. It's fun. It's cutesy. It did not serve the amount of people that we needed it to. I mean, we made it work, but the sliver they got was so small. We got the largest cake that they offered, and I thought, oh, that'll be enough. Good enough, right? Oh, I mean, technically it was good enough, but not to my standards. (laughs) Good enough isn't actually good enough (laughs) because it... I should have got extra and I should have known to get extra cupcakes or whatever, but I didn't because I always like to feed everyone, not just the kids at the party. You got to feed them all like the parent. You know what I mean? Parents don't want to stand there and be like, "Uh, you got to feed them all. And we it ended up being fine, but it could have been better. I feel like anyway, the cake that we got fifty five dollars, fifty five dollars for a cake. I wanted to cry. I, they don't put the prices out there, so you just have to kind of, okay, well, yeah. And yes, we did get the biggest one, but there weren't that many options of like sizes, two sizes maybe. They have small, large, maybe a medium in there. I'm not really sure. Holy crap. They're making, that's how they're making their money. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Ah, oh, we're going to charge $55 for an ice cream cake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ridiculous. I should have learned how to make an ice cream cake. Would have probably cost me 10 bucks to make one myself. Man, oh man. But it was cool. It was what she wanted. It was convenient and it was cold stone, which when we brought the, we had it in a bag, obviously, when we brought it in. And um, the gal at the register who was, you know, planning the party or whatever, she's like, oh, I'll take the cake. And she said, ooh, cold stone, good choice. Like, so I guess it's superior in a way. And then we went to Publix afterward because I did have to get like potatoes for dinner. And I just, you know, wanted to peek on their ice cream cakes. You know what they want to charge? 22 bucks. For an ice cream cake, I was like, man, I could have saved myself $30. I know in the future. So for Wentworth's party, I think he wants an ice cream cake. What is with kids and ice cream? First of all, I'm going to make 
I'm going to also bring cupcakes because, my gosh, I would like to have a piece of cake at a party. I, I cannot be the only person on planet Earth who doesn't like ice cream. Ice cream, the only good thing about the ice cream cake is if you get an Oreo one and it has like those Oreo crumbs on it. That's the best part. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there's my rant on ice cream cakes and spending 55 I still can't believe it. I had sticker shock. I was like, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did they charge us extra to write happy birthday Eleanor on it? Because I could have gone home and done that myself. Oh, I didn't get a receipt. I just, he asked and I was like, oh, I don't think I need one, you know. Maybe I should have. Maybe it's better to not know if they charge me <laughs> extra to write happy birthday, Eleanor. <laughs> anyway, if you were having a birthday party, where would you want it? And uh, what kind of cake would you like? I don't even know. I guess, you know, actually, the amount of money that I spend on food, feeding people, having it at the house is a lot of money too. Way more than $50. So I'll just say that, you know, Costco cakes, they don't have an ice cream cake yet to my knowledge, but uh, their cakes are like 13 bucks. Saves you a lot of money. And it feeds a whole crowd. Actually, they're not as big as they once were. Remember when they had the whole quarter sheet can? Quarter sheet can? That's fine. Anyway, I've moved on to trying my darndest to get this Ikea rack together. I bought it a year ago. Oh my heck. A year? Two years? I don't know. Not the last time I went to Ikea, but the time before that. And they were out of the one that I actually wanted, which this last time I went, they had it, but I didn't buy it because I remembered, oh, I have this one that I need to put together. You know, it just sparked all the memories. And so I was cleaning up my closet and I thought, okay, this will be a great place to hang my hats, to hang my purses. It's fantastic. No, I was incorrect. It was not fantastic. What the heck? I couldn't get, I cut out half of the me working on it. It took me forever and I still couldn't figure it out. So I just took a hanger and hung all my purses on that crap. Called it a day. And then the next day I said, Alex, can you figure this out? I literally didn't have the finger strength. I could I, the tools, I, what, for whatever reason, I just couldn't figure it out. I swear it's, I got a defective one. I don't know. There's no other explanation. <laughs> so I couldn't figure it out. He got one and then, you know, got distracted. So we'll see if he can finish it for me. I'm not sure. I, f I have got high hopes he can do it. But for now, I did get this one rack and I thought, all right, I'll just hang my hats on there. Not that I often wear hats. And when I do, it's usually the same one. Um, this claw clip has really been doing me good these days, you know? Because I feel like if you wear a hat, you can't have a claw clip in. I know those, I've seen those women who actually do it. I don't know how they do it, nor do I care enough to try it myself. I just feel like that's an accident waiting to happen. My hair's going to flop around, fly out, and that's not my vibe. So, of course, my closet needed a vacuum. My kids come in here, they play, they got crumbs everywhere. When I'm getting dressed and ready for the day, if Wolfgang has a loaf of bread in his hand, I don't even care. I'm like, if you are quiet and I am getting dressed, that is fine. So, that is the explanation for all of the crumbs everywhere. It happens and life goes on and uh, that's it. Holy crap. So let's call it 30 minutes is how long it took me to tidy this place up. I couldn't be happier. I do need a couple more hangers or I need to declutter. It's one or the other. It's looking good for now. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to work on that rack. But otherwise, fantastic. Well, holy cow, can you even believe? Actually, what time is it? Let me see how long that took. Yep, definitely more than 25 minutes. <laughs> it took me an hour, but I blame the ridiculous Ikea thing that I could not get together. I wasted so much time on that. I don't know. None of them worked. I tried changing the bolt. I tried changing the screw. I tried looking at the instructions, seeing what I was doing wrong. Nothing. Nothing. What? a waste. <laughs> I was really looking forward to that. I bought it like a year ago. Whatever. Man, another light bulb is out. Okay. Well, that's done. I feel a lot better about that. Now I can walk in and really just walk by it and not feel, be like, oh my gosh, you know? Okay, cool. One hour well spent. So I told you my Shutterfly order came in and I'm pumped. So the Christmas cards, are you ready to see the Christmas cards? And this year I splurged and got envelopes that are printed on there. I saw that as an option. I was like, okay, I've never done this before. The reason that I said yes to it is because on the flap on the back, it has our return address and the cute little print too that matches, it all matches and it's really sweet. So I was like, okay, that'll save me like 20 minutes writing my address. And I don't have an address stamp yet. One day I'll get one. I even thought about ordering one this year and I was, then I saw those and I thought, well, 
that's cheaper than the stamp. <laughs> so I did it. Okay, I'll show you. On the back of the card is a picture and then what we've been doing for the past couple of years, which I really like, is just giving a synopsis of like how we're doing, what our kids are up to, that kind of thing. And I really like that. Um, some of our family we just don't see often. They live in a different state, so it's good to connect that way. So I'll show you the front of the card, which has a lot of our family uh, pictures on it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen our family pictures because I made a post about it. But if you don't, here's a little sneak peek. There it is. Isn't it the best? I love Shutterfly so much. It's so fantastic. I've been using it for so many years and the quality is unmatched. I just think they're amazing. But those are the best photos. Those are my, are my favorite photos. So I took one of each of the kids and then one of Alex and I. Obviously they're cropped so it's you know a little different than what the photo actually looks like. But finding a layout that had this many pictures is not easy, okay? I kind of wish they did it like their scrapbooks where you can kind of personalize it and make your own. I feel like I did that one year, but it's hard. Okay, so, and then I ordered an ornament too. So each year we do an ornament and I have them just on our ornament tree. This was last year's and it's such a nice quality ornament. I mean, like this thing is four pounds. And so this year, oh, the reflection is so hard. I didn't know it was gonna be like etched. It's like on glass or something. So it is pretty cool, but just not what I was expecting. But I took my favorite family portrait of us and as you can see, there's like snowflakes etched around it. I think it's really pretty. It's somewhere on there it says 2023 to keep up with the years. But I just throw it on the tree and we can kind of glimpse and glimmer. I think the youngest one I have is from 2017. So that's fun. And then the other day, I shared on Instagram. Yes, I finally got the Jingle Jangle. Does anyone else think of Riverdale when they hear Jingle, jingle Jangle? I don't even know if that's part of the storyline anymore, but here's on the inside if you're wondering what it is. Trader Joe's, this is from Trader Joe's, they come out with it once a year, just during the holidays, and it's just like a mingle mix of chocolate covered popcorn, which is way better than it sounds. Chocolate covered pretzels, there's M&Ms, there's like peanut butter Reese's, mini little Reese's, not Reese's, yeah, little mini Reese's cups in there. Uh, it's just a beautiful blend of chocolatey deliciousness for the chocolate lovers in your life. They did up the price. I got two of them, sent me back 20 bucks. I pulled out the toy catalogs for them to sift through. Mommy, oh, can you have this? Yeah, circle it, maybe it'll be under the Christmas tree. The toy catalogs, I have one from Target, one from Amazon, I think. Mommy. So I gave them each a color. Yeah, circle the ones that you really, 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 really want so badly. And uh, it's gonna be a good time. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Yep, don't hold back. Hey, speaking of laundry, got a lot of that stuff to do. And actually, I feel like I've seen worse, right? I'm kind of keeping on top of it. I'm, look at, first of all, I didn't do this, but I'm gonna show you because I'm impressed. I mean, I did buy the batteries and I laid them right next to this, so <laughs> I did 20% of the work. But check this, this is our battery uh, storage organizer, I guess, whatever the heck you wanna call it. Have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? So incredible, putting all these things in. I guess we're low on some Ds and where do this, oh, these are Cs. And then whatever the heck goes up here. See, I don't even know, like what is that? Double A? I don't think it's ever been this full and I don't know why, but that was just really impressive to me. I got this piece of crap off Amazon. You can find them. I spent, I don't know, it was before they were popular. Popular, gonna be popular. But I got it off of Amazon for an arm and I spent way too much money on it. And then I realized, wow, I made a mistake and I tried to return it, but the window of opportunity had passed because it was like right after I just had a baby and I was just scrolling Amazon buying all the crap I didn't need. I mean, I wanted one, but I didn't want to spend however much I spent on it. But now I see them at Costco for like 20 bucks. And I think that's a reasonable price. But anyway, that's what this is. And it just makes me happy. Whenever we need batteries, we know exactly where to go. They're not, you know, sauced around all over the rest of the house. But anyway, laundry. I feel like I've been doing my best to keep on top of it. And you know what has helped me a lot? is when I empty a load from the dryer, I fold it right away. And listen, 
it's time consuming and I don't always have time to do that. And I'm not always the only one emptying the dryer. So sometimes it does get piled up here, but that's fine. Cause then I'll venture in here eventually throughout the day and I'll try to fold it real quick. One load at a time doesn't take that long to fold. And you know what they say, one load a day keeps the chaos away. Oh no, that's how we lose socks. Yeah, I don't know if one load a day keeps the chaos away, but uh, I don't do one load a day. I feel like I do four loads a day and it's still chaos up in here. I have been meaning to pull this out and clean around. I wonder if I could just do that. Nope. Oh my gosh. I got you. Can I help or not? You're gonna get it? Yeah, I got you. I'm While you're back there, there's a dryer bowl and the soap. Ugh. I know, it's gross back there. I've been meaning to clean, I just... It's crusty. <laughs> and musty. Ugh. There's a spider web. Walking in a spider web, so be a okay, ready? Right now, <gasps> call you back. Ew. I'm going in. Ah, oh, Valina saves the day. Oh. Yeah, just the sock, the... Thank you, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> Check it. Can you see how disgusting that is? Okay, there's two more soaps. You want me to, can I just mm, go? Wait, there's more soap dispensers? No. Oh, you just said there's two more there's soaps. There's two more soap pods. Oh yeah, get them. Bro. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break anything. Yeah, it looks like I can't do it. I'm gonna break it with my All right, come on out. Sorry, my job's too big. <laughs> Oh, they, this is my favorite soap and they don't sell it anymore. Real Bulgarian lavender is the soap. I got it from Thrive Market years ago. I don't know, three years ago, love it. But they don't sell it anymore. Mm. I think they used to have it in a couple of different things. I had the refills and stuff. I feel like it shouldn't be this difficult. All right, good enough. All right, that was my workout for the day, which I need to, I don't, is it just me? Like, I feel guilty almost every day that I don't work out. I want to. How do people find the time to do it, make the time to do it? Like, if I spent an hour working out, I would lose an hour somewhere else. And right now I just feel like I don't, I know I need to make it a priority and it's not as if I'm sedentary, so it's not like that. It's just so many factors involved. I don't have space to fold laundry. As I say in my 1,000 square foot laundry room. It's not really a thousand square feet, but I know what you know what I mean. Anyway, I just feel like the kids are at school, morning routine, baby, nap time, work, all the things around the house. And then before you know it, it's after school, it's sports, it's dinner, it's bedtime, it's homework time. Oh, like how do these fit Wentworth. I think I need to go through his clothes again. Anyway, I really, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I need to make it a priority again to start going to the gym. Sometime, for, for a couple weeks, I was doing pretty good there. And then, you know, something comes up. Kids are sick and then I gotta stay home with them, so then I miss out. And I feel like something like that happened pretty regularly. I don't know who's who and what's what. I'm just doing my best over here and I feel like most days I fall short, but at the end of the day, I'm like, well, I did, I did my best. I won't always be in survival mode. That's something that I have to often remind myself of because if you have a small child, you are in survival mode. If you are needed more throughout the day than not, you are in survival mode. So I feel like I'm doing really well at surviving, but not thriving. You know, I'm just going to take a few minutes and fold this load and then maybe I'll have enough What's the term uh, to clear this counter off? All right. I feel like piggybacking on what I said about like going to the gym and stuff. I just feel like I need to make it part of my routine again. It used to just be automatic. Take the kids to school on the way home, go to the gym. But then it's like oh, if the baby is napping, whatever. And then also Alex mostly now takes the kids to school, which is awesome. But then I like, I don't know. I, I just, I have to figure it out. I have to figure it out. That's like the story of my life. I'll figure it out. And then do I? Uh, time will tell, I suppose. Oh my gosh. There is just so many things that you need to keep on top of. And I feel like I'm failing every day. But also, 
I, you know, there's a lot of words going on in my brain right now. I have to tell myself that I'm doing enough and that, you know, everything will be fine because it will be like having a laundry pile up. There are worse things in life. Do you know what I mean? If this is not the worst, if this is the worst thing I'm experiencing, I'm doing just fine is what I'm trying to say. You know, for us showing up for our kids, being there for our kids. Yes, it's time consuming. Even the other day, Eleanor had like a happy birthday celebration at school. It's literally during snack time, like 15 minutes. It takes us longer to drive there and drive back. And we were like, oh, you know, like with the baby chasing him around. But we went and we showed up because that's what's most important. So anyway, it's things like that, that yes, it's time consuming, but you got to do it for your kids. Show up for your kids. That's the most important thing that they want. They want you to be there. And that's important. This is coming from someone whose parents didn't really show up for them. So I know both ends of the spectrum. Maybe I do it overboard for my kids, but I'd rather do too much than not enough, which reminds me of a quote that I feel like I've shared with you many years ago. Maybe I'll pull it up and share it with you again. Actually, let me do that. Hold up. I had to go in the deep depths of the internet to find my old blog, okay? On Blogspot, anyone remember? Does anyone else have a Blogspot? Here's the quote. I'd rather be told to relax than to pay attention. I'd rather be told I care too much than too little. I'd rather be told I research too much than not know enough. I'd rather be told I hold my baby too often than too little. I'd rather be told I spend too much time with my baby than not enough. I'd rather find my own way and my own balance than use someone else's. My shoes might not fit you, but that's okay because I'm the only one doing the walking in them. Isn't that such a great quote? That's the end of the quote, by the way. And it's just so fantastic. You know, parenting comes with so much like social disapproval and so much judgment Sometimes you just have to drown out the noise and do what's best for your family. And it's it could be nice to have that reassurance. Like if you needed to hear that today, I hope that was for you. That's why I shared it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm moving on to getting some meal planning done. Did you know most of the typing you do is done with your left hand? Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Uh, okay. So of course I'm coming to macro friendly foods that I mentioned earlier in the video. It's my go-to. It's my fave. Sometimes I way overthink dinner time and like, Oh, what should we eat? It just, this takes the guesswork out of it. Not just this, literally anything, like go on Pinterest or whatever and find a website that you enjoy and then that'll it'll give you like meal inspiration or whatever and then just do it. Just pick one. Don't don't overthink it. Like, ooh, will they like this? Yes. And if they won't, we always like to have things on the table that my kids enjoy. So like rice, ketchup, no, I'm just kidding, uh, cheese and fruit, fruit or a vegetable. Normally broccoli is their, my go-to because I know they'll all eat it. So I always know they like those things and I always try to keep them on hand for them when we try something new. We came outside to uh, peek on these chickens. It's hard to see and so I'm gonna go inside and show you. A lot of you have been asking how the chickens are doing. Look how huge they are. They're getting really big. Obviously they're not laying yet, but during the day we let them come out here and just hang out in their coop. And I think they really, <laughs> they really enjoy it out here. There they are. But aren't they getting huge? They're not even two months old yet, I don't think. If they are, it's barely two months. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a goat. Ow! I'm just kidding, we're not getting a goat. What? I mean, I don't think we are, but chickens don't lay eggs until they're like, six months old or somewhere around there. If I open this up, they will run out and cause mass chaos. It's happened two days ago. Alex and I spent way too much time literally chasing them around the whole yard. It was ridiculous. They look unsuspecting, but boy, are they fast. Yeah, just living that homestead life. <laughs> I was just addressing some labels for the Christmas, what are they called, cards? I, it's so dark in there. I can barely see. My eyesight is horrible. I used blue ink. I ruined the whole aesthetic. I thought it was black the whole time and then I brought it in broad daylight and I said, oh, I'm like 90% done writing them all in and man, blue ink. Can you believe that? Oh gosh, that smells so good. Hey, I'm gonna throw some brownies together. I think this is everything I need. I, it's flourless. It is protein. 
uh, low sugar. I don't know. The only sugar we're going to use is all natural maple syrup. Hey, remember when people use this peanut butter powder? Can we go back to those days? Oh my God. I was going to spill everywhere. There's a recipe. Is this one of my measuring spoons? No, it's just one of my actual spoons. This is actually my favorite spoon. Can almost guarantee you that I used to know of a recipe where you made brownies, but it was like this and two other ingredients. And I can't remember what the two other ingredients were. Surely like cocoa powder and milk or something. I don't even know. I guess I could Google it, but I don't even know what to Google. I've tried to find it. If you know, please tell me. Okay, for now, that is not in the recipe, but I thought, oh, well, you know what? Now it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just making it worse over here. All right, one cup. It calls for almond powder, but I'm just gonna use, I just say powder, almond, butter. My brain, I need more sleep for it to function correctly. I've been really enjoying using the scale, but I don't know how many grams one cup is. How many grams is one cup of peanut butter? On I think it's like 256. Baking.com, they say approximately 258 grams. 258! Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. Two eggs. I cracked them in. I always forget to press record. It's becoming a problem. Half a cup of maple syrup going straight in there. Quarter cup of milk. Whoops, that was too much. <laughs> it's fine. Little bit of vanilla extract. Half a cup of protein powder. I have chocolate protein powder. And not all protein powder is created equally. I really like this. It's kind of pricey. I get it from Target. I just got off a whim. I actually don't use it a ton because I don't know. And then I have a quarter cup of cocoa powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. Maybe a little more. A little bit of salt to enhance the flavor. I'm gonna mix this together and then it calls for some chocolate chips that I'm gonna throw in there too. Just gonna add a nice handful of chocolate chips in here, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna dump it into a greased pan. You're supposed to use eight by eight. I'm like running out of dishes. I don't know, like I don't have the appropriate size dishes. And I just went to Ikea. I didn't buy any dishes. I should have. Maybe next time I go to the thrift store, I'll look around for more dishes. I'm really itching to go. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. That's the problem with thrifting. You go once and then you just wanna keep on going. You never know what you're gonna find. Okay, you know me, taste the batter. Salmonella, I dare you. Not bad, not bad. It's actually really good. Um, I would eat that raw. <laughs> By the way, I used chunky peanut butter if you're wondering like what the heck is on top of that. And um, just for fun, I think I'm gonna sprinkle some chocolate chips on top. There we go, ooh la la, they basically look done already. Put it in the oven, I have mine at 350 for about 25, 30 minutes. Just took it out of the oven, it's super hot, obviously, 350 degrees hot. Um, I, it smells really good, I'm not gonna cut into it yet. Okay, this was dry. I don't know if it's because I used crunchy peanut butter, but it was on the drier side. I don't know if I overcooked it. We were playing outside as it was cooking, so I might have let it go maybe 10 minutes over. I did set an alarm on my phone, but you know, by the time you're like, oh, the alarm, and then, you know, a couple minutes go by. And anyway, the kids were playing outside. I love watching them play together. I took some clips. I don't think I added it to the video, but they were um, doing obstacle course races, and it's just so nice to get outside with everyone and have them play together and, you know, do some fun stuff, get some fresh air and all that good stuff, grounding. Anyway, I'm throwing some green beans together for dinner and I'm using this seasoning that I found at Trader Joe's. It's like everything but the leftovers made me laugh. I guess it's supposed to be like a Thanksgiving seasoning-ish. I found, I mean, it's a seasonal seasoning. So I enjoyed it. I don't think, it wasn't like a burst of flavor. I just, that's how I always... Uh, cook the green beans. I add salt, pepper, and then oil, but this time I added obviously the new seasoning. So I did taste it. It wasn't overly crazy, so that's nice. And then for the chicken, I'm shredding it, and then I also cooked some sweet potatoes. I just throw them straight in the microwave. I don't pierce them. I think they cook perfectly in their little pocket of skin, and I just throw them in the microwave. What, 15 minutes for those? They were pretty big, and I had three of them. And here is dinner. Oh my. Heck, the kids love sweet potatoes too, but I cut them in half if you're wondering. Oh, you didn't cook enough. I had plenty. Plenty to go around. And then the chicken was so delightful. The flavor was packed 
full of it. And the green beans, obviously, I explained. So this reminded me of Sonny's, Sonny's Barbecue. <laughs> Sonny's who, honestly, because this was way better. And I made it at home and saved money. <laughs> I went to a baby shower like, I don't know, a year ago, maybe less than that, whatever. But I've been like craving Sonny's Barbecue ever since. So I just like to try to recreate it when I can. Okay, so oh, this is these are the clips of us outside. Alex likes to put together obstacle courses for the kids and then they all do them and we time them to see <laughs> which one is fastest we are definitely breeding competitors but hopefully at the end of the day it's all fun and games right so obviously there's different ages <laughs> but you'll be surprised at who wins sometimes all right anyway Alina does this thing where she high fives and that's what we're trying to do um it's we just think it's fun. It's a little inside joke but I just wanted to bring you outside with us because it is just so nice to catch some sunshine rays some vitamin d play out in the sandbox we have out here and enjoy family time take your shoes off get a little grounding in just be in nature be in earth go outside if you're ever feeling like uh, drab like a drab little crab just head outside and start walking go for a walk or go to the park be around other adults even if you don't know them sometimes it's like all you need just to be out so anyway um, that's what we do and getting them out of the house is always fantastic too. And we are lucky to have a backyard to do it in. And then this night we went, um, like looking at Christmas lights. Oh my heck, you guys, this house is so fantastic. They did this last year and we were just crossing our fingers that they did it again this year. Right now, um, it's like tied to the music, you know? So right now the song is Let It Go. And of course, Meredith was loving every second of that. But you can see like the influx of lighting and all that good stuff. So it, I mean, we'll sit outside this house for an hour and just watch the Christmas lights. And it's just fantastic. That's one of our favorite things to do as a family is ride around looking at Christmas lights. and <laughs> Just makes for really great memories. And uh, then we headed back to the house and watched The Grinch. When's the last time you saw this movie? I mean, I fell asleep at the end, obviously, because I, I can't watch a movie without falling asleep. <laughs> Maybe one day. But this is such a great movie. The Grinch is such a classic. I can't even believe it's like 20 years old now. It just doesn't seem right, but it's fantastic. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you enjoyed your time with me. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.